What's up everyone? I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking. And in this very fun video, we're going to look at the magnification gesture. This is basically the zoom in, zoom out gesture that you use on the map on your iPhone. And if you have Instagram, you can zoom in on pictures. That is a magnification gesture. So in this video, we're going to look at the very basics of how to implement one into our app. And then we're going to use a custom example. We're actually going to mimic the Instagram gesture and practice zooming in and zooming out on what would look like a real application. One thing I want to point out is that the logic, the code for this gesture is going to be very similar to the code for the gestures in the next couple videos, because all of these gestures kind of derive from the same bits of code, just changing the gesture type. So I recommend that as you watch this video, get a little comfortable with adding this logic on your own. You'll see the unchanged and unended, and that's something that's very common. We're going to use a bunch of times throughout this course. So with that said, gestures are a lot of fun and they're actually pretty easy to add to your app. So I'm super excited. Let's take a look. All right. Welcome back, everyone. This is another fun video I'm excited to share with you guys. I am back in our Xcode project that we made in the last video. Let's right click on the navigator, create a new file. Of course, it will be a Swift UI view. And let's call this magnification gesture bootcamp. Go ahead and click create. Once you're inside, click resume on the canvas and let's get coding. And we're going to start this off very simply with our hello world. Let's give it a dot background with color dot red. Let's change the font. Let's do dot font, maybe title. And let's give it some padding of maybe 40. And on the background, let's just add a corner radius of 10. So we have our nice hello world. And now we're going to add a magnification gesture to this. And the magnification gesture is basically just like the zoom in, zoom out on like a map that you use on your iPhone. So we'll add a new modifier called dot gesture. And then in this gesture modifier, we can add any of the gestures. So in the last video, we did a long press gesture and we could add that here, long press gesture like this. But in this video, we are actually doing a magnification gesture. So let's call that open and close the parentheses. And then now that we added this gesture to the text, we need some actions that we want from this gesture. So let's so underneath here, we can add a modifier dot on and there's two actions we get on changed and on ended. We'll start with the on changed. Click enter and then we can click enter on this. And here we can add the value that it changed to and then we can add some code. Now this looks fine, but we don't need this extra closure actually. So we can actually instead just do dot on changed. Delete this instead of pressing enter open the brackets and call value in. And these are the same. The second one looks a little cleaner without this extra uh, closure. So I'm just going to use that. Unchanged value in and we need a variable to change. So at the top here, we'll do at state var current amount of type CG float and we'll set it equal to zero. And then on change, this value is going to be basically is going to be the magnification amount of our uh, object. And so when we magnify it, we're going to use the scale property. So we'll call dot, dot scale and then we're going to use the one with the CG float. We're going to start our scale at 1.0, which is the 100% of the current size, which is the exact size you see now. So we're going to do one plus current amount. And because we're starting at one, when we get the value, we want to subtract one. So we're actually going to put the current amount and we're going to set it equal to uh, the value minus one. All right. And now let's test this out. Unfortunately, this doesn't, these gestures don't work very well on the preview here. So let's put it on a simulator. So I'm going to open the navigator, take this view name, the magnification gesture bootcamp. I'm going to copy that, jump into our swiftful thinking, continue learning app dot app file, make the first screen in our app, this magnification gesture bootcamp. I'm going to jump back into our file and then let's click this play button up here to run it on a simulator. I'm going to hide the canvas quick because we're not going to use it. 
And the simulator right now just has the pointer, which is just one finger. But if I hold the option button, I can get two fingers on the simulator. And obviously this is much better to do it if you have an actual uh, iPhone device where you can use two fingers to open, to click and drag. But if I hold the option button and I click and drag on our hello world, it should now magnify uh, like we want it to. And this looks pretty cool. This is exactly what we were doing. This is the same gesture on a map if you want to zoom in on a map. Um, but we can add this to anything in our SwiftUI app. So we can add this to our text here. We can add this to an image or anything else really. Uh, and then one thing I noticed is that if we let go and we try to do it again, it's going to bounce back. It kind of looks like it's lagging a little bit, right? So if I click and hold this and then I start it again, it bounces back to the beginning. So we can fix that quick by adding another variable. We'll do at state var. Let's call this uh, last amount of type CG float equals zero. And then we'll add a dot on ended and we will open the brackets, put value in. And when we end it, we're just going to basically track the ending amount that the current amount was. We'll set the last amount equal to the last amount plus the current amount. So another way of writing this in Swift that's faster is actually just last amount plus equals current amount. So we can get rid of this first line and we're just adding the current amount, whether or not it's positive or negative, to the last amount. And this is just basically going to track where our current amount was before we ended the gesture. And because we're now setting this equal to the current amount, we can also set the current amount equal to zero when we do this. And finally, we want to add that last amount into our app. So we're going to do one plus current amount plus last amount. Let's click resume on the canvas or play on the simulator. Now we should be able to click and make it bigger, let go, and then do it one more time. And it should start in this current spot. So click and make it bigger. And that looks pretty good. And make it smaller. And then from here, it can keep making it smaller. And that's working. All right, and now before we go, I wanna show you one last example of this, uh, where it's actually used in a real app. So let's highlight all this. Let's command and backslash to comment it all out. And let's start creating a little view here. Let's make a V stack, open the brackets. At the top of the V stack, we're gonna have an H stack, open the brackets. And on the left, we'll have uh, maybe a circle with a dot frame of, with a width of 35, a height of 35. We don't need the alignment. And next to the circle, we'll add some text that says Swiftful thinking. We're gonna add a spacer. And then on the right, we'll have an image with a system name of ellipsis. Some of you might know where we're going with this before we even see it in a simulator, um, but Below this, let's add a rectangle. Open the open close parentheses. Let's give this a frame with a height of maybe uh, 300. And let's see what we got so far. So I'm gonna open the simulator quick, open the canvas. Click resume on the canvas. It's looking pretty good. Uh, on the H stack, let's add some padding of dot horizontal. That looks good. Underneath this, let's add maybe uh, another H stack with a image system name. We'll do heart.fill. We'll do another image system name. We'll do text.bubble.fill. On this H stack, let's add a spacer on the right. And then on this H stack, let's give it a some padding of horizontal. And let's give it a font of headline. And below this H stack, let's just add a text that says this is the caption for my photo, for my photo. Let's give this a frame with a max width of infinity and an alignment of leading. All right, lastly on the V stack, let's add some spacing of 10. And maybe some padding also on this text. 
Beautiful. And now you probably know exactly what we just did, but this is kind of like a mock version of an Instagram feed, right? We have our profile picture, our name. We obviously don't have an image, we're just using a rectangle for now, but on Instagram, if you put two fingers onto an, uh, the picture, it will zoom in, and when you let go, it bounces back. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So on this rectangle, let's add some logic. So I'm gonna put the frame on a second line, and then on the rectangle, let's add a dot gesture, and we will do a magnification gesture, of course, dot on changed. Open the brackets, value in, and on change, we of course are gonna set the current amount equal to value minus one. And then we'll do on ended, open the brackets, value in. Then we're just gonna set the current amount equal to zero. And because this will happen when we let go, I'm gonna actually animate it down to zero so it doesn't just pop. So let's do with animation dot spring open the brackets, put our current amount equals zero inside. And then of course on the rectangle, let's just add a dot scale effect. And we're gonna give it one plus current amount. We're not actually using the last amount anymore. So let's run this on the simulator because it's not gonna look well on the canvas here. Simulator should pop up on your phone. All right, I hold the option button and I click and drag on this picture. Now, of course, on Instagram, this is a real picture, not just a black box. Um, but I should be able to now zoom in, zoom out, and if I let go of the clicking, it'll bounce back. If you're using a simulator, make sure you keep holding down the option button through the whole process. If you let go of the option button, it will end like this. So it gets a little laggy. That's just because you're on a simulator. So hold the option button, click and drag, you can zoom, and then once you let go, it'll bounce back. So we just made a mock Instagram feed in literally like five minutes, and we had this really cool magnification gesture, which would look even better if we had a real picture, of course. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're now comfortable using the magnification gesture. And thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Nick, this is Swiffle Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.